Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Mobility Aids Introduction Mobility aids are also known as assistive devices. They help you walk or move from place to place if you are disabled or have an injury. Choosing the right mobility aid takes time and research. If they fit, these devices give you support. If they don't fit, they can be uncomfortable and unsafe. This program explains mobility aids. It covers types of mobility aids and how to use them. Mobility aids. We walk thousands of steps each day. We want to do our daily activities, get around, and exercise. Having a problem with movement can make daily life more difficult. Mobility aids can help you stay independent. Mobility aids include canes and crutches, walkers, orthotics, prosthetics, wheelchairs, and scooters. Canes, crutches, and walkers. Canes, crutches, and walkers help a person stay stable and reduce weight on their limbs. These devices can help a person walk without straining the muscles and joints of the legs, spine, and pelvis. A cane, or walking stick, is the simplest form of a walking aid. It is a stick that is held by the hand and sends the weight and strain of walking to the floor. A crutch also bears the weight of walking. Unlike the cane, it has two points of contact with a person's arm. The hand, below the elbow or the armpit. The crutch can carry more weight than the cane. Walkers and gait trainers are more supportive than standard canes and crutches. They offer more support by letting the user balance their weight and align their posture on a larger device. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Orthotics An orthotic device is a brace, splint, or supportive device that is used to support, correct, or align deformities. Orthotics are also used to improve the function of movable parts of the body. Orthotic devices can help assist movement. They can even restrict movement in the wrong direction. They are used to control, limit, or guide the movement of a joint or body part. Orthotics can also help correct the shape or use of a body part, reduce the amount of weight on a body part, reduce pain. For example, orthotics for a person's foot can be fitted into a person's shoe. These orthotics can distribute weight more evenly or help align foot joints when you walk or stand. Knee and ankle braces can also help with mobility. Prosthetics Prosthetic devices, also known as artificial limbs, replace a missing body part. Some prosthetics can help you move around better or walk and are mobility aids. People can lose all or part of a limb or a body part for many different reasons, such as birth defects, cancer, circulation problems, traumatic injuries. Prosthetic devices can help mobility by replacing a hip, a knee or other joint, the leg, the foot. A prosthesis may be removable. Most prosthetic limbs are removable. Other types of prosthetic devices are permanently implanted, like an artificial hip. A person who uses a removable prosthesis, such as an artificial leg, may want to have more than one available for different types of tasks. Different devices may be better suited for different activities. Wheelchairs and Scooters Wheelchairs and motorized scooters can help after leg or spine injuries. They can also help if certain medical conditions cause leg movement disabilities. Today's wheelchairs are lighter, 
faster, and easier to use than ever. Many use computer technology and offer better support for a person's back, neck, head, and legs. They also include safety features such as automatic brakes and anti-tipping devices. There are different wheelchairs available to suit the specific needs of the user, such as standard or everyday wheelchairs, child or junior wheelchairs designed for children as they grow, lightweight wheelchairs, sport wheelchairs for specific activities. Other types of wheelchairs include standing wheelchairs, reclining or tilt-in-space wheelchairs, transport wheelchairs, power wheelchairs. Manual wheelchairs are propelled by the user's arm movements. Transport wheelchairs are designed to be pushed by another person. They have handles and brake controls that are used by the person who is pushing the chair. Power wheelchairs have many advantages for people who need them. Electronic controllers can help a user drive smoothly, brake easily, and make the wheelchair move with the touch of a hand. Scooters are powered carts with a seat and three wheels. Some scooters require good upper body strength and arm function. Users should also be able to support themselves in an upright, seated position. Scooters have a steering column so that the user can direct the device in which direction to travel. Controls for speed and direction may also be on the scooter's dashboard. A scooter is an especially useful alternative for children with some walking ability who need to extend their range of mobility. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Mobility aids are also known as assistive devices. They help you walk or move from place to place if you are disabled or have an injury. Mobility aids include canes and crutches, walkers, orthotics, prosthetics, wheelchairs, and scooters. Canes, crutches, and walkers help a person stay stable and reduce weight on their limbs. These devices can help a person walk without straining the muscles and joints of the legs, spine, and pelvis. Orthotic devices can help modify a person's skeletal structure. They are used to control, limit, or guide the movement of a joint or body part. Orthotics can also help correct the shape or use of a body part, reduce the amount of weight on a body part, reduce pain. Prosthetic devices, also known as artificial limbs, replace a missing body part. The prosthesis can help you to perform daily activities such as walking, eating, or dressing. Wheelchairs and motorized scooters can help after leg or spine injuries. They can also help if certain medical conditions cause leg movement disabilities. Choosing the right mobility device takes time and research. If they fit, these devices give you support. If they don't fit, they can be uncomfortable and unsafe. Mobility aids can help you stay independent. Thank you for using Explain.